Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proactivity Open Arduino compatible industrial controller installing the software. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen, I have the Arduino website and we're at the software um, location where we can download our software. So if we go scroll down, you will see that there's an online version, but also there's a version that we can actually download. And what we want is this particular package right here, which is our Windows installer for Windows XP and up. Currently right now, this machine that we're working on has is a Windows 7 machine. So we click that and it will download the latest Arduino package or the IDE package, which is the integrated development environment package that we have for the Arduino. Again, it's open source, free of charge. So I have it pre-downloaded. So here it is right here. And that's the package. If we right click and we'll run as administrator, it will now start the installation process. So the first thing I'll ask us is about a licensing agreement. You must agree to install it. Then we'll ask you for the default settings for all the files that it's going to be installing, including the USB drivers. So I'm going to leave this all at the default and we'll hit next. Then we'll ask you for the destination lo location or folder. We're going to leave that as the default on our C drive. And we'll hit install. Now it's actually installing all the software that we need. And if we have, since we selected the USB drivers, um, if the USB driver does not exist, it will actually prompt you to install that USB driver. So this doesn't take um, a very long time. And what we'll do is we will, it will put a Arduino icon on your desktop so you can actually start the program from that icon. Or you can use your um, start menu and start it that way as well. So the software will actually run on a Windows, a Mac, and a Linux uh, operating system. So now we've completed our installation of our Arduino package. So we'll hit close. Let's just minimize that. And what it did was put a icon, like we said, on our desktop. So let's minimize this and we can see that we'll just drag our our Arduino icon onto our main desktop here so we can see it. So that's what it looks like and if we double click on it, it will actually start the Arduino software, software package for us. So there it is right now. So next what we want to do is we would like to um, add to this package our library file for our P1AM-100 Proactivity Open. And that's required to actually program the cards to the right hand side, which uses the Proactivity 1000 IO cards from the PLC line. So what we'll do again, call up our screen and we get that from the GitHub under the fax engineering and we go to our clone or download and then we hit the download zip file. And once again, I've already done this. So if we look at our download, our download file, you'll see that we have our P1AM master zip. So once again, this is required to actually use those Proactivity 1000 cards on our Proactivity Open uh, controller. So once we have that there, what we do is we go back to our Arduino package. We go to sketch and we'll say include library, add zip library. And now what we do is we select where we want it to come from. And we'll look at our download. There it is right there. So that's the package that we've actually downloaded. So we'll set open. And now that's been added to our list. Now it says it's already um, a library named already exists. So it will not add that one. So we already have a pre previous version that we added. So that's it for the 
productivity or the uh, library that we've now added. So you want to make sure that's there. Next what we have is a package called Productivity Blocks. Now Productivity Blocks is a graphical programming interface and an add-on to your Arduino IDE. It helps you build your sketch programs by dragging and dropping interlocking blocks. And all of the associated C++ code is automatically generated for you. So this is going to help you avoid any of the syntax errors and to quickly get your program up and running. So in this particular uh, productivity block, you want to go to releases. And this will actually run on our Windows or our Mac. So this is the Windows install. So you want to download that. And once again, I have that pre-downloaded. And you right click on it and run as administrator. And that's it. It actually installs. Um, it gives you a message saying it successfully installed your productivity blocks. We'll hit OK. Now what we can do is go back to our Arduino software package. We'll go to tools. And what you'll see is our Arduino blocks will now be present. Well, we'll just close that down for now. And let's just call that um, productivity or the Arduino open or Arduino software package and open it up again. There we are. And look under tools and there it is right now. So productivity blocks, we open it and there is our productivity blocks package. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click in the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.